Hi guys, uh, Randy Richard in the shop. Uh, starting a little new project here today. Uh, the little noise in the background, that's the X-Carb. I'm trying to do a couple things here at once here. I'm trying to be efficient. So uh, the X-Carb's doing a little bit of engraving over there uh, for uh, the what's in your toolbox stuff. So anyway, uh, I did mentioned uh, I showed you before the drill bit that I picked up on Facebook, uh, the carbide inserted drill bit, and I needed to make a holder, so I made up a drawing. I'll show you that a little more in detail, uh, you know, with the computer view type thing. And so I'm going to swing it around real quick and kind of show you what I'm going to do. Okay, so, uh, so here's my drawing. Yep. This is um, two inches here, OD. This is a Morris taper number three. And we're going to have an inch and a quarter hole in the end with a couple uh, screw holes, uh, threaded holes, a half inch, uh, 13. I'm going to thread those for some set screws. Uh, you'll see here this has a welded flat on it. Let's see if I can get that to show very well, but it has a flat uh, for the set screws to sit on. And this is inch and a quarter. So I'll slip in there. And then this will Morse taper number three uh, will fit in my uh, tailstock my on the uh, lance lathe. And I'm going to be using this. This is a hydraulic cylinder scrap rod. I've already whacked off the clevis end on it and chrome rod. Uh, it's probably you know 1045. Uh, I guess that's what most of these are made out of. Pretty nice chunk of steel. I need almost. Uh, I'll need this a little over eight and a half inches uh, to make this, so I'll use most of this up, and uh, it'll be a pretty nice little tool. So that's what we're going to use there. Uh, yeah, this is scavenged from an old cylinder off of a Caterpillar tractor. Uh, my nephew is a uh, heavy equipment uh, mechanic, and he uh, scavenged me some throwaway stuff. Uh, uh, a little while back and I was able to whack the end off of that and uh, it will turn into some useful parts so uh, we'll uh, I'll show you the computer 3d uh, modeling of it real quick and uh, then we'll uh, head over to the lathe and start working on this here's the adapter uh, the only difference uh, in making this, I decided, there's the inch and a quarter hole and set screws go in there, and then the Morris taper number three. Uh, I decided I'm not not going to put a tang on this one. I'm just going to bring this taper on down to an end. Uh, since I'm only this will only be used in the lathe, there's no need for a tang, so I'm not going to put the tang on. That's about the only thing different, but this is what it looks like. All right, we'll go, go get her built. Okay, I got the stock uh, up in the lathe here. Now it's sticking out uh, quite a bit, but it's a two inch diameter piece of chrome steel here. That's probably 1045, like I said before. Um, and it will not, this will not fit through my spindle anyway. But this is uh, enough for us to do some turning on. So I got figured out why the the, the cylinder was probably no good. They bent the shaft. It's not real bad. But anyway, so I got this dialed in up here close to the chuck. And I'm less than a thousand, right around one thousand here it looks like. Um, so that's good enough for what we're doing here. So that... Uh, so we're about a thousand out, but if we go over here, out here on the end, we'll zoom you in. See if you can see that. Yeah, I'll zero that up on something so you got reference see 
So that's on zero. So we're looking at 25 thousandths. 26 thousandths. 20, yeah, 26 thousandths. A run out out here in the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this section down to the round part uh, of the adapter, and then with the Morris taper, then we'll flip it around and we'll do the Morris taper number two. So 25 thousandths uh, total run out. So you know it's like 12 and a half, uh, 26. That's 13 thousandths. Uh, you know I don't, I don't have to take off very much. So we'll do the straight part first here. And then we'll flip it around, and that way our hole and all this is concentric. And we'll flip it around, dial it back in again, and then we'll do the Morse taper part. We'll do a little face in here real quick. You can see uh, how out of how, how bent it is. See how that cleaned up, and uh, we're good. We're gonna put a big hole in there, so I don't want to clean up. I just want to get it cleaned up so I could uh, put a drill a hole in it. All right, I got center drill. I got a 5 16 uh, drill in there. We're just going to drill this to as big as I can get it. Yeah, work on this. It, it's, it's fairly hard right here on the end, it seems like. Uh, the clevis that was on here was welded on. And so maybe right here on the end, it's kind of hard. Not too hard, though. And I can still drill it. With, this is just a high speed drill bit. We'll see if I can uh, put a hole in here. And I gotta turn it real slow. I'm gonna turn it 160 RPM. And we'll see if we can get this drilled. If not, I'll change materials. Uh, I didn't realize it was gonna be this hard. You can see how it's bent, and that's why we're gonna true it up. So I got a half inch. A boring bar insert boring bar and and I've brought it down three and a half inches on the outside so then I put a dial indicator magnet back on the waves and zeroed it up with one revolution and on to zero that gives me one revolution of distance to stop if you have to try to remember, oh, two revolutions, three revolutions, you know, that's a lot to remember. But one revolution, it's only going to be one revolution to stop. See, so if I back it off, it's what, one in 15 and 25 thousandths, right? But, but, so basically it goes past zero, come around, one revolution. I'm at three and a half. It's a lot easier to remember that than two or three or whatever turns you, you might set it at. If you're fast, if you're really good with the controls, uh, set it for half a revolution, you know. But I always, one is easy to remember, and I just always do it that way. So I've got that board out to my largest drill, which is 5164. Uh, I drilled that out to that. Now we're going to bore it the rest of the way up to an inch and a quarter. So probably what I'll do is I'll, I'll go with this one for a a ways until I can get a bigger boring bar in there. Uh, I think I have my one inch one is uh, long enough, I think, to do this. So hopefully I don't have to do the whole thing with this, but I could. It's only a half inch, but that's the way it is. You got to use what you got to use. Okay. I'll try this here shot. Uh, see how much vibration I get. Sometimes I get vibration in uh, shows up the video.
Alright, jumped up to the one inch boring bar. So when I was doing the half inch boring bar, I had a lot of vibrations. So I slowed way down about 400 RPM and cut my rate in half, feed rate from 10 thousandths to 5 thousandths per rev. And what I did is I also only went halfway to the size I needed to get the big one in. And then I did the halfway and then I, then I finished off the bottom half with a, just a half inch boring bar. Uh, now I got the big one and this is the first cut with the big one. And I'm still doing 400 at 5,000. It seems to cut real well there. The material's pretty tar uh, tough. It's got some hardness to it, so just kind of taking it easy and we'll get, should come out pretty good. This is the next to last cut. 35,000 depth of cut. And then uh, we'll do a finishing pass. Hopefully after this. Yeah, we're just going to turn down to that mark there, four and a half inches. Just take a little bit off, just to round it up. Now we'll see how this comes out here. Yeah, that finish is oh a beautiful finish um yeah we can go we can go more though Go until we get it cleaned up. And, uh, there we go. That was really close. Beautiful finish, though. Uh, that's not cutting very, very right, is it? You gotta get that card chrome off. Yeah, it did. It ate that corner right off that insert. Hmm. Let's yeah, see how this, what does this one do here? We'll do it a little slower maybe. one of those Seco inserts here.
caddy. This is the one we're going to be using, so we'll see how that goes. The second cut after the chrome was off. Got pretty good. Only turning 380 RPM. Not taking it easy or 5,000 speed rate. Put a little bit of oil on there, seemed to help. Taking some of that heat, I guess, a little bit. The chip's coming off there. You, Right, right there where it's coming off, man. It's red hot and it cools very quickly. I'm down through all the chrome and stuff, so I'm getting a nice chip now. I had a little uh, vibration harmonic going on, and once I did that, now I'm through it all, and so I'm getting a not, lot right, nicer cut. I'm just cleaning it up. It, this outside diameter doesn't really matter that much, so. I just wanted to get it cleaned up around, or concentric to the hole, I should say. Oh yeah, beautiful finish, just beautiful. I'm gonna put a nice little chamfer on the end here since I couldn't, with this tool I couldn't get quite in there and I'll just put a real nice little uh, chamfer on that. But that's a beautiful finish. Yeah, it's kind of rough. Um, yeah, maybe I'll just turn the compound over here and take a cut on it. Good enough. Okay, uh, I had to do a little more boring in here. Um, 
right in this section here inside it was harder than other parts and then maybe a little bit down in here and so it was, wasn't like you know perfectly straight so i had to kind of do a little touch up boring but now it goes right in and uh, maybe a thousandth or so in there play which is fine uh, we're going to tighten it up with set screws on that flat uh, anyway yeah it goes right in there that's going to be a beautiful uh, mount if we can get the uh, taper turned right on the other end uh, it's going to come out it's going to come out good it's going to come out real good uh, you know this is not turning or anything this is going to be in the tailstock of the you know the lathe really uh so for the for this mount here, so that's uh gonna come out sweet. Let's see here if I can show you the whole thing there. Here we go. I put an insert in it. This is these are one the inserts I have are one inch, just so you know. But yeah, that's gonna come out sweet.